Hello and welcome to Whiskey Wins with me, Stuart. Today, pretty sure it's my 24th review and we are going to be looking at Portiskeg 10 year old which was bottled for their 10th anniversary. It's done by Elixir Distillers and not only is it their 10th anniversary at Portiskeg but it's also Ralphie's on YouTube. So a little nod to him as well. This is non-chill filtered, no added colouring, it's cast strength and it's bottled at a nice 55.85%. 10 years old, uh, it's from Isla, it doesn't disclose uh, which Isla distillery it is but I think I've got my suspicions and it's a very integral malt um, as Ralphie would say. Very transparent, you've got non-chill filter, no added colouring, gives you the age, uh, the cast strength. So it's, it's quite transparent in what they're saying other than what the distillery is. Uh, it says just 33 casks have been used, a refill American oak hogshead, uh, a first filled bourbon and rare Exolera sherry casks. Uh, it says this combination creates a balance of richness and smoke tied together by Port Skeg signature elegance. So I bought this recently because I really wanted a Port Skeg and I hadn't had one. Uh, I went to one shop, tried the 100 proof and I saw that they had this for £100 or £99. And I didn't know anything about Port Skeg or how much these bottles actually cost so I was about to buy it um, but luckily that day I was also on my way to the Royal Mail Whiskies to pick up a whiskey. I saw this in there and they had it for £68.95 so I saved myself almost £30 and I bought it straight away. I'm glad I bought it because I've tried it and I love it, I think it's brilliant, uh, quite unique and although it's only 10 year old and that's just £70 shy of £70, I'm still happy to pay that for how good it is uh, and what it is really. So we'll get down to the tasting, uh, I've got a little water droplet, uh, I'm not sure what the proper word is, um, is it water droplet or water, water piplet? No, that's wrong. Anyway, it's, it's a little water droplet um, thing given to me by spirits people. So I'm going to be using that because I reckon I'll need it. We'll try it without water, well I'll go for the nose without water. Yeah, you can tell it's high ABV right off the bat with the, uh, the, the nose there. Another thing I was going to do for my reviews is instead of giving a point based system, I'm just going to say whether this whiskey is worth it or not with regards to the, the cost of the whiskey. I feel like I tend not to mention cost and I think it's something I probably should, how much whiskey actually costs and whether, they, whether it's uh, worth buying or not. Because at the end of the day, these are reviews are to help people kind of decide whether they want to buy a whiskey or not, uh, or whether a whiskey is going to suit their palate. So I'm going to do it differently and just say whether or not it's, a, it's a, a win or a bin. So a whiskey win or a whiskey bin. So no more points. You can tell there's a real marriage between the casks here. There's nothing, it's quite uh, well congealed. It's, yeah, it all comes together really nicely. A lot going on. There's some smokiness there. Uh, Some menthol, almost kind of so, uh, soup, uh, like a kind of chimney. There's a lot of herbal notes. I'm not sure if you can hear the dog, but he's crunching away on one of his bones, so sorry for the noise. Something syrupy. I'd say maple syrup, it's got that kind of, um, well, it's just, it just smells like maple syrup. Quite sweet. There is a certain bitterness to it as well. Possibly something like smoked gammon or smoked bacon, that kind of bitterness. Real savoury, salty. Yeah, the nose is really nice. Um, I don't think water would go amiss. I think water would be quite well and good in the nose. But I'll go for a little uh, try of the palate without. Yeah, there's a lot going on there, <laughs> and it's a big hit at 55.85%. For some reason, I've had some stronger whiskey, other cash strength whiskey, but this is a, a real hit, and I don't know if it's maybe the age of it, the 10 year old. So I think we'll try a little, uh, if 
fact, I'll, I'll give notes without water first. So without water, there's definitely real oiliness there. And the mouth is coated. Um, maybe something like cooking butter, kind of salted butter, uh, melted around the mouth. It is, the mouth, my mouth is really oily. It's kind of, it's got that film, um, that kind of cast strength mouth feel. Yeah, I'll try a little bit of, uh, of water. So far, it's just, I am really glad I bought this whiskey. It's really enjoyable. Weird noise. And I think they've done well with the uh, bringing the cast together. If I was to say which distillery it was, uh, I believe Ralphie said on the nose he thought it was Kalila and on the palate he could taste Lagavulin. For me, it's the other way about. Um, so I can taste the kind of Lagavulin attributes on the palate and I can smell Kalila on the nose. Uh, so I think they've used. Kalila and Lagavulin, definitely they've, they've married those two together somehow. So we back to the palette. This is a really delicious whiskey. I really do enjoy this. The water just opens it up. That oiliness is now more like a, a, an olive oil. Um, there's a spiciness there. Kinda, not cinnamon. Maybe like cloves or something, clove like that, that kind of spice. Uh, rich, rich peat smoke. Very, the, the peat is very evident here, I, I, I feel. Yeah, there's a rich peat palette there. Uh, salty again. Quite, quite bitter. Uh, quite kind of vegetal. And also, the only reason I mention this, which is butter, butternut squash, is because of the power of uh, the suggestion. I think I read somewhere whilst I was doing some research on it that someone said that it's got a, a kind of butternut squash uh, taste to it, a flavour profile. And I can kind of see that, but I'm not sure whether that's just like a placebo effect. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really nice whiskey. Nice and strong, so you can add as much water as you want. I'd probably say it definitely needs water. I'm not usually one to add water to whiskey, but I think it definitely needs the water. It definitely benefits from the water. On the finish, it's a kind of typical Isla. You've got that, that peatiness, the smokiness, the salt, a lot of saltiness there. Rich flavours. It's long, um, quite long lasting in length. There's something metallic. Yeah, there's something kind of metallic there. Possibly something sulfuric, something sulfur. Um, maybe like the end of a match. And also, slightly going a little bit sweeter at the end. A uh, kind of merge or a cross between licorice and vanilla. There's a, a, a correlation between those two just at the end. Yeah. I think it's superb. Um, Elixir Distillers, I think they're owned by Whiskey Exchange, I think it was a part of their brand. They've done an excellent job with this. I uh, have had the eight year old, Portuguese eight year old at the uh, Whiskey Festival in Falkirk. And uh, like I said, I've tried the 100 proof in a whiskey shop, but I preferred the I preferred the 10 out of the three so far. The eight is really nice, but the, the, the 10s, um, my, my winner so far. I hope to get uh, add more of these to my collection and this is definitely a whiskey win. I'd, I'd urge you to buy one of these or even get to try one of these. For £70, I know it's only 10 year old but you get a cast strength whiskey um, so you can add as much water to, you, to it as you like, you can take your time with it, it's going to last longer and it is a superb whiskey. Definitely a win. A whiskey win. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. A whiskey win on a whiskey bin. Once again, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, please do subscribe. Uh, leave some feedback in the comments. I'll definitely get back to it. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. And I'll also like Spirits People's YouTube channel because he's just started doing some YouTube videos. He usually does live videos on Instagram and he does some podcasts as well, so I'll link them 
Uh, and he's, Johnny's pretty knowledgeable, he's, he's definitely way more knowledgeable me, than, than myself. And he covers more spirits than me, um, but that's because I think he's an alcoholic. So get over to his page once you've watched uh, some more of my videos, of course. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims, I'll see you later.